Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. I wanted to have this little impromptu video. As you can see, I'm here in my lodge and we're actually getting ready to do a fellow craft degree in about an hour and a half. I don't know about you, but we have dinner first and then we have a degree. For the rest of you who have late degrees and then are eating near midnight, I don't know how you do that. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. I wanted to share with you and brag a little bit, just keeping it real, about my apron. Uh, I've shared this over on Facebook before, but I've not talked to you guys about it. If you don't follow me on Facebook, that's another place that you can go where I share a lot more stuff. If I see something on the internet that I think is interesting and relates to Freemasonry in some way, I share it there. Uh, I also uh, share pictures and other information from other lodges that I go and visit, but they don't really get put into a video. So if you want to follow a little bit more, then Facebook would be the best place to go. You can find me over on Twitter as well. But this apron is something that I decided to invest in after I had already been past master of my lodge, because I really do see it as being an investment. Uh, this apron was done by Brother Edgar Alejandro over at Masonic Revival. And in sharing this information about it, I also want to sort of caution you uh, and give you a little bit of heads up. Because if you're interested in ordering a custom handmade apron from Brother Edgar, uh, make sure you give him time to perform his craft. Make sure that you're ordering your custom apron well enough in advance that he can make it for you. So if you have a Grand Lodge communication or another special event of any kind coming up where you might want to have a custom made apron, make sure you reach out to Edgar in enough time that he can give you the same quality craftsmanship that he gave me. This apron in particular is a rendition of his El Mixtu uh, apron. It's on his website. But here in the state of Mississippi, our past master emblem includes the square, not just the rocker. So if you go on his website, you'll notice it has the compasses in the rocker, whereas mine has the square and rocker well, along with the compasses. So uh, you can make little special orders like that, but you got to give them the time to get the work done. He has all sorts of different things. If you're in the York Rite, the Scottish Rite, if your jurisdiction has special aprons, he may already have those styles as well. Uh, so make sure you go and check it out. He's got things for your regular blue log regalia or custom aprons like mine and so many different options. But uh, Edgar is a mason from Mississippi. Uh, he was raised right here in Mississippi and now he's known around the world for his Masonic Revival uh, products. And uh, we're proud to be able to claim him here in Mississippi. So you'll see also uh, that I'm, I'm dressed up. I'm curious to know uh, what sort of regulations, policies, dress codes do you have? Maybe it's something for your whole jurisdiction, maybe it's something for your individual lodge, or maybe it's personal. For me, it's personal. Here in the state of Mississippi, there are some limitations. Uh, you know, the hat that the master wears has to be a full brim hat. But as far as the members of the lodge, certain things that might seem obvious to many lodges like no shorts, no sandals or other open-toed shoes are permitted in our lodges. Uh, but in other lodges that, that I've visited with perfectly fine brethren, they do permit that. And yet I've also heard online of other lodges where it's tux or nothing or so many options in between. So tell me down below uh, in the comments section how it is in your lodge, and if you want to offer up your two cents on whether it's good or bad, go ahead and do so, but I don't want to pressure you into that. For me, I like dressing up because it, it just makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I'm more a part of the experience. It makes the experience feel, feel more special, uh, and I've already been in the awkward situation of going to an event that I thought was going to be suit and tie, and come to find out almost everybody there was in jeans and t-shirts. So, uh, you know, there's a, there's a bit of a uh, risk, if you will, for taking the time to uh, dress in a way that is different than most of the other people. But you know, our brothers are our friends, so if you can just grin and bear it and roll with the punches and take the few laughs that come along with, dude, why are you wearing that get up today? Then you can just roll right along and have fun with it. So. 
Uh, thank you all for uh, taking the time to listen to this video. I know it's not part of the normal routine that we do, uh, but, but you know, I wanted to brag. Uh, I'm pretty happy about this apron and uh, it's certainly getting attention and uh, it's something I enjoy wearing out wherever I'm going. Thank you all so much for taking time to watch. We'll see you next time. Bye.